Welcome, my friends, my fellow Clashers from around the world. It is your host, Galadon. Super excited to be bringing you 99 or 100, the Gold Pass Edition. So, these are some crazy attacks, some crazy close attacks that end in either a 99% or a 3-star. And it is up to you to make that prediction and to keep track of your answers because it could result in you winning a gold pass. That's right. We've got gift cards to give away that you guys can convert into gold passes, iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. And all of this comes to you thanks to, yes, you guessed it, players using code Galadon. These giveaways, hundreds and even thousands of dollars a month in giveaways and charity giving is a result, a direct result of those of you that go to settings, more settings, scroll to the bottom, type in creator code Galadon, and then it doesn't cost you a thing, but Supercell sends me about 5% of what you spend on the game while that's active. Remember, it's only active for seven days. Okay, so the way this is going to work today, and pay close attention, is we will play these attacks at double speed. Okay, so we're going to squeeze in more attacks. That means more answers. That means it's going to be harder for you to qualify. But can you qualify? Can you possibly get every single one of these right? Keep track, because if you do, you'll be amongst the few that are eligible to win. Okay, so here we go. It's been at double speed. We're going to pause every single one of these today at 99. Okay, so right there, 99 or 100. You make the call. Take a look at the situation. Obviously, there's not a lot of hit points left on the Archer Tower. One second or less on the clock. Make your call. Here it comes. You don't have a lot of time. All right, the answer was three-star. This one was easy. This was a gimme. I'm starting out easy, but they're definitely going to get harder. Remember, keep track. It is up to you to track your answers, and I'm counting on you being honest. Okay, so here we go again. Galadon on the attack, again in Legend League, again using Queen Charge Hybrid because... I'm pretty much a one-trick pony these days. That's fine. Okay, so just watch closely. Remember, the attack will be at 2x speed until we get to 99%. And then we will pause it. It will be up to you to decide from that point on if that's the end of the attack or if there's one more percentage point to be gained. Now, obviously, you can see where I thought, oh yeah, I'll go use the Archer Queen to take out the Eagle. And that didn't exactly happen the way I had hoped it would. But all we need to do here is slightly alter the approach and get ready because everybody's going to roll in from the bottom left after the freeze spell on the grass. Just, just ignore that part, okay? That was just to make sure, you never know, it was just to make sure that the path was clear for the miners and the hog riders there. But yeah, so we went back door on this guy. It was a risky strategy, hoping that they would get all the way through. Are they going to get all the way through? Is this going to pay off? As you can see, it's beginning to look like the last building standing could be the town hall. Is it? Or wait, watch, pay attention closely. Remember, as we close in, it is going to be up to you to make that call. The Archer Queen goes left. The few remaining miners are at the top of the screen and they cannot get the town hall down. But it's nearly out of there as time runs down. It is up to the Archer Queen to get it. And there we go, 99%. Or 100. What is going to happen? Take a look. Think about what's going on. Mark down your answer. Go down to put it in the comments. Write it on a piece of paper. Whatever you need to do. And we will resume the attack. Watch that Archer Queen charge in. And okay, fine. I realized this one was pretty easy too, right? Yes, we all knew she was going to stop. She's too far to hit that town hall. And we end, yes, a classic Galadon 99% one star. So, okay, fine. You got the first two right. You're so smart, but you wouldn't think that I would make getting a gold pass this easy. Of course not. You're going to have to work for this and get ready because these are definitely getting harder. Okay, so pay close attention. Again, Legend League. Again, Queen Charge Hybrid. And again, a base that I really dislike. And that seems to be the one theme that recurs in these attacks is these bases cause me fits. And oftentimes things don't go the way I had hoped. Now, I've already committed the Siege Machine down on the battlefield, so we can't use it as a blimp to get into the core. We're going to have to count on the Hog Riders, the Miners, to get in there. And sure enough, they do because the funnel works. In they go into the middle. That means the Town Hall should be a distant memory in just a moment. Last Rage Spell going down. One more free spell to go as well. And finally, come on, get in there. Yes, they get the Town Hall down. There's your second star. But you know, of course, it's going to hinge on that last building. Is it going to be 99 or 100? As we close in, you can see the attack is slowly losing its troops. Not a lot of people, not a lot of units, heroes left on the battlefield. And soon it comes down to, well, it looks hopelessly lost. But notice, 
The Warden, the Yeti are doing a great job right here of working their way through these remaining buildings with only two defenses standing, but the time is starting to become a factor. The Miners, 27 seconds, eight buildings left, Getting closer, 20 seconds, five buildings remaining. Where are they? At the top of your screen, you've got a camp. Here it goes. It's going to be the miner race to the camp. 99 or 100. You make the call as the miners turn around, racing towards the top of the base as time runs down. Did you guess 100? If you did, you got it wrong. It was a 99. Okay. Was it hard? Sort of? A little bit harder than the last one? Okay. Here we go. Now we're going to throw in Galadon 3.0. Oh, that's right. This, I don't know why I love this base, but I saw this base and immediately I just felt warmth and affection and I'm not sure why, but it, it was a base that I adore. Oh, but we're going to destroy it anyway, of course, to the best of our ability. Going to roll in here with, this is, of course, my three-star Barch army. Barch plus Town Hall 10 version rolling in after the loot, but remember... We, of course, are also interested in researching Town Hall 10 farming from gold all the way back up to perhaps champion. I doubt we'll go much further than champion, but that was the goal here. Trying to pick up the three star, and as you can see, it's going to be close. Now, this was a dead 10. You can see the Inferno Towers, the Expos at the bottom are dead, but it still poses a challenge for a baby brand new Town Hall 10, which is what we are with No Barbarian King. So watch closely as this is going to be an incredibly close match as we close in on the three star the archer queen taking damage only defenses left she uses her ability she runs off to the left hand side the bomb tower takes out most of her archers and here we are 99 percent consider this one carefully as the archer queen has a perilous path to follow to get to the remaining building which is of course a bomb tower almost no health plenty of time make your choice here we go the Archer Queen and her contingent of archers are on their way through the dangerous path of giant bombs, but they get there. There goes the bomb tower. Oh, the Archer Queen is down, and so are the archers, but they get through it, and it's a three-star. That that was a tough one, okay? That could have gone either way, you got to admit. Have you gotten them all right? Well, guess what? You're not done yet. That is right, because we've got more action. We are just getting started, and you guys have to get all of these right. you got to get every single one of these right, so focus. Get that Clash 300 IQ hat on as you watch a ground attack. What? That's right. Yeti Smash from Galadon 13.0 in Clan War with a pretty effective funnel, if I do say so myself. Coming from the backside of this base, a very risky approach. But check out the Earthquakes. Everybody rolling in and pretty much following the hopeful path that I had created for them as they roll towards the Town Hall. So, watch carefully. Royal Champion at the top of your screen is going to clear out some of those defenses. And everybody else headed right for the Town Hall to grab that second star. One of these days. Okay, they're not at... They didn't, they didn't go for the Town Hall. Okay, so... So, oh, okay. Well, the Archer Queen, she's going to get that Town Hall. Here she comes and... Okay, no, she's, she's, she went the other way. So, the, the Yetis from the bottom, they're going to come get that Town Hall. They're headed towards the right-hand side. All right, you might have guessed it by now, but the last building standing is going to be the Town Hall. It is going to come down to the Archer Queen versus the Town Hall as the Yetis can't get the job done. Nobody can get the job done. It's going to be up to the Archer Queen. So here come the Yeti Mites. They all die. That's it. 99%. So ready? Archer Queen, top of the screen, turning around. 14 seconds left. Is she going to get it? Make your decision. All right, lock it in. Here we go. Here comes the Archer Queen. There's a Seeking Air Mine, Archer Queen on the Town Hall, Healers in tow, and with three seconds left, of course she gets the job done. It's Galadon, you guys, come on. You thought I would fail in Clan War? No way. Okay, if you guess three stars, you are correct, and perhaps still eligible for that Gold Pass gift card. Okay, we move on to another Legend League attack from the main account, and this time, we're also using Yeti Smash. So you'll notice that I could, you know, I could switch things up if I have to. Warden Walk Yeti Smash with the Siege Barracks completing the funnel on the opposite side. So everybody is going to come in right at 9 o'clock, right after that Town Hall. Now, if you've gotten all of these right up to this point, you're doing really well because statistically speaking, based upon how difficult the last two replays were, there is less than one-third of you that are still in the running for that Gold Pass gift card. So keep track of it as we roll into the core. Out comes the defensive CC. Down goes the poison. The eagle still raining death and destruction. 
can't quite get it out of the way. Everybody's stuck in the middle for a moment. Finally, we're going to get through and push on to the right-hand side of this base. The second star comes in, but of course, you know, this is going to come down to the last building. Just one building standing between you and a gold pass, is it? No, actually, there's another replay after this, but get ready. Here we go. As they roll into the right-hand side, notice all the buildings down at the bottom of the base. We've got the Queen's ability, King's ability, one wizard and three archers remaining to be deployed. Can we get there as time starts to count down? Under 35 seconds remain and over 20 buildings left to be taken. You know this is going to become an issue of time. The Archer Queen still hasn't used her ability. Galadon, you got to get on the ball, man. You're running out of time right here with five buildings left. About 10 seconds remain. It's going to be the Inferno Tower. Everybody turning around, getting to that Inferno Tower. Can they get there? Take a close look. That is a ton of troops, but only seven seconds. Make your decision as we resume. We'll check it out as time counts down. If you guessed a three star, that's right. You were completely wrong because we didn't get the Inferno Tower. And be honest, be honest, okay? There may be a consolation prize if you only get one wrong. I need to know the people that actually get these rights. Okay, check out the very unusual base. And this is the last attack of the day. Here is your chance. Have you gotten them all right up to this point? This could be it. You could be the owner of a brand new gold pass through the gift card, Amazon, iTunes, or Google Play. But hold on, you've got to get this one correct as well as Galadon goes after Cardman and this really strange Legend League base. Now, these Legend League bases, I do often say that, yes, it's a good idea to throw up something completely new and different that nobody's used to seeing, and perhaps you can throw the player off. But when you're not really making use of your walls... Yeah, you know that this base is about to get crushed, at least 99%, perhaps a three-star, as we deal with, yeah, okay, I forgot to deal with the Electro Dragon out of the CC, get it out of the way, and the Miners, the Hog Riders continue on, no spells remaining, only the Royal Champion's ability is left, and 65%, look at the time again, and look at the damage as we close in, this is it, could you get that gold pass, can you get this one right? The pressure is off me. The pressure is on you. I already know what's about to happen right here. So watch it as we close in. Lots of units left. 40 seconds remain. 83% damage. Lots of defenses left in the top right corner of this base. But can we get there as the final seconds are starting to tick down? 91% damage. 20 seconds remain. Here they come. The healers keeping everybody alive. 12, 10 seconds left. 95% damage. Get ready for that freeze frame. As you know. It's 99 or 100 right here. Time to make the call. Take a look. It's the Expo with Miners on it with three seconds left. Make your decision. The Gold Pass could hang in the balance. Here we go. Time counting down. One second and... Oh my goodness. Did you think it was a three star? It was a 99. That's right. 99%. And now you have all the answers. So come on over to Facebook Gaming. FB.GG slash Real Galadon Gaming. We'll be giving away over 20 gold passes. That's right, over $100 in gold pass gift cards given away to people in the chat that know the answer. So stop by tonight starting at 7 p.m. Thank you guys for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You're the true hashtag Califam. And I love thinking about it. Appreciate every single one of you every single day. So stay inside, wash your hands, be kind to other people. I don't I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks.